AMA cover story now. A health alert about a new study looking at microplastics. They are found in everything from plastic containers to water bottles. And new research finds they may be impacting our brain tissue. Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Tara Narula. Please help break this down and help us understand this study a little bit more. Right, so microplastics are ubiquitous. They're found all over the planet. As you said, they come from things like plastic bags, mm -hmm. plastic food wrap, tires, cosmetics. Um, and we know they're very small, tiny, less than five millimeters of the size of a pencil head. And we get exposed to them typically by the food we eat, what we're drinking, or in the air. Now, we've seen microplastics in tissue samples in the human body before, but this study specifically looked at autopsies of about 50 individuals. Their brains their liver and their kidney tissue and they found a few things Robin first of all they found that the levels of microplastics went up between 2016 and 2024 in the brain and the liver in the brain they went up by about 50 percent they also saw that the brain had on average about 7 to 30 times more evidence of oh. microplastics than the liver and the kidney they looked at some individuals with dementia they had higher levels of microplastics in the brain and get this when they looked at the average brain the amount of microplastics in the brain was equivalent to the weight of a plastic spoon about seven grams so how much do we know about the danger the danger here not enough at all so okay. as we've seen the rise in plastics over the last 30 years we really have not understood the effects of these microplastics or the chemicals inside them which is a whole nother topic in the human body we don't know if they cause disease we don't know how they're getting in the brain so clearly we need a lot more research on this we do need more research on this and this is concerning but you know as always folks are listening to you this morning and and they're leaning in because you resonate so well with folks and they want to know okay so what do you recommend if they're, if they're feeling that maybe they are ingesting too much of this right and so there's no way to really know how much you have we don't have that ability to measure that but there are things you and I can do we were just talking right. about swapping out some of our plastic containers for glass for example so not using those plastic water bottles trying not to microwave plastic because that heat will re release those particles thinking about using wooden cutting boards for example using those recyclable bags instead of the mm -hmm. plastic ones you want to vacuum, avoid ultra-processed foods, um, use clothing that has natural fibers as opposed to synthetic fibers. So lots of ways you can kind of look through your house and what you're doing on a daily basis and try to eliminate that exposure. I was telling you that someone was telling me, and I, I didn't even really pay attention to it, having a water bottle in the car, and when it heats up, that is something to be concerned with. Right, so metal, you know, right. yeah, or even like what you're cooking in, stainless steel or skillets as opposed to those non-stick uh, surfaces cookware, that can release it. Mm -hmm. So. Lots of little changes you can make. That yeah, will be but helpful. we can make these little changes. All right, Dr. Tara <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Now let's go over to Ginger, who's right there. I'm right here. <laughs> you know I'm all about that. Thank you for yes. covering that. Microplastics and our obsession with plastic is certainly huge. So.